another mark that's fish over here on side scan that's fish over here on side scan there's fish below us below us good arch there arch there man that thing is a slab those big marks that's not bait okay this is a picture of my setup so i've got one two three four five rods out long lining and i have my cannon downrigger with a foley spoon on that rod right beside that cannon downrigger my all-star rod pulling 0.9 miles an hour got a couple of bites on these longer rods no hookups as of yet we'll keep on pulling got one on this one is on what is this one on purple flake that's a crappy and that's a keeper crappy and the keeper and it's on a purple flake so it's 57.8 degrees long lining for fun and that's what you get when you long line for fun right there we'll throw it back out but that's a purple flake Got some pretty curler on that little puppy. Not bad at all. I got one bowed over. I'm sitting here pulling lines in, and I look up, and I've got one. I've got my big rod taken off. Whoa. Roll him in here. He's in my other line. Way too big to be a crappie. I'm going to video it anyway. Isn't it way too big to be a crappie? No, that is a crappie. Man, that thing is a slab. Long lining out here in open water. Folks, I, I was running when I hooked that fish. I was in 40 feet. 40 feet deep water. And I want you to look at this fish. I had a long line. I'm going to try to get him in here. Try, try, try. I'm going to put him, I'm going to put the rod in the holder just for a second. And hope he don't get away. I'm get the net real quick. Wasn't prepared, getting ready to call it the day. Head to the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, my, my. Come here. Whoa. What a fish. I thought it was a bass. The way that the uh, way the rod rod was over. And you can see it's on that little white white jig. My goodness. That was a good one. That is a good fish. Whew. Not as long as what I thought it was. This fish isn't but 13 and a half inches, 13 and a quarter. But what a thick, chubby little thing. One pound, six ounces. Man. Whew, that's a good one. It's nice to get one that size. There's a lot bigger in here than that, but it's nice to get one that size. Fishing with Squirrel here with you, doing a little bit of scanning, trying to find some crap before I head to church this morning. Pulling on the back of Crooked Creek and just seeing the difference in Cane Creek and Crooked Creek. Water temp, 57 degrees this morning. Caught a couple long lining yesterday. And you can see, like, there's not a whole lot on the bottom. There's a couple of stick-ups here and there. 
um, you can see these marks that I got a few fish a little clustered up fish right here there they are on down scan right above that stump that looks like right there so I'm I'm pulling through and just I'm just gonna side scan these docks up through here see if the fish are on brush at the back of this one female that I caught yesterday looks like she's full of eggs so it's cloudy overcast today it's like a heavy mist it's kind of raining down it's a little bit chilly we're at 50 degrees today it's foggy heavy heavy fog laying all over the area a high of 67 degrees today tonight low of 52 so that's what we're looking at the weather's warming up which is the water temp is coming up I'm marking some fish now you see I got a few fish right here there's the marks right there I just marked there's a, a good arch right here looking on side scan I'm a hundred feet right now out on my side scan got a little bit of bait right here you see that little small cloud got another little cloud of bait over here to the right of my boat coming up on a dock pick it up this morning and a lot of docks on this lake so there's the dock right here now I've got it and it's over my land because I've got it I'm zoomed out to a hundred so what I'm gonna do is zoom in I hit this next dock um, hopefully I'll get it in the in the black area I'm coming along and got a dock it's got a boat up on a lift on it this morning and I'm staying about 10 feet off of it and there it is 10 feet off of it float float that's the float that the boat's sitting on but there's no fish underneath it you can see float no fish so again, I'm at 60, so I can see it. They'll stand up. I mean, you can see them. Like if there's a good, heavy, thick group of fish, you can even see them over the, the bottom of the lake area. But it, this is how I find them. It makes it easier when I see them uh, in the black area. They stand out just like that. So nothing here. A lot of docks. They don't have anything on it. No fish on it. got a I got some marks here just random up underneath the boat which that's kind of long lining that's what I look for when I want a long line just long line troll around through here just out so these things aren't under the docks they're just kind of out in the middle now I'm coming up on one with an old houseboat tied up to it Let's see if we got anything under here no boat lift boat lift big boat sitting in the water i've caught the back of it right there nothing now you see all this right here and you'll go man that's yeah, it's all kind of fish well that's not that's actually picking up the boat docks that we just passed on 2d how does it do that i don't know i'm, I'm guessing that it's this is total guess is that that sonar the sound waves are going down hitting the bottom hitting the boat out to the side reflecting back and picking back up in the transducer and it throws it like it's 10 feet in the water when it was actually 10 feet over it wasn't under us it was off to the side so that's where all these even 2d sonar it's gonna it's going to show you things that you think you've got it figured out and then then it does something like that and you're going what you know that's that's not 10 feet down no that's actually 10 feet over it's not under the water 
That's another one right here. I'm going to go around by some rip wrap. Not seeing a lot. I got a little bait fish over here to the right. Looks like I got some bait under us. There's a ball of bait. Ball of bait. Ball of bait directly underneath the boat. There's fish. There's a good arch right there. That's a good one. There's a ball of bait right here. There's a lot to look at in a hurry, when, especially when you got it up here like this. There's a lot of bait back in here. There's another balls of bait and a few fish around it. You can see bait over here to the right hand side of the boat. There's a few, there's a little bit of bait over here. <coughs> that that's bait and there's some bigger marks in there so that's going to be some bluegill or some crappie mixed in with that as well you can see all the marks that are over here there's bait off to the side again a lot of bait that's back up in here which is a good thing so see these arches probably a catfish laying on the bottom right there uh, these are gonna be bass or they're gonna be crappy one of the two we want the crappies we want the crappies there's a there's a fish chewing on a ball of bait and I got this on high chirp by the way there's that fish munching on that ball of bait there's a cluster of fish together right here there's bait all along the bottom. There's fish right here, 15 feet down. There's a couple other marks of fish. So there's fish, there's bait. <clears throat> there's one, two, three, four, five, six fish over here to the left of my boat. There's bait over here to the right of my boat. Bait, bait, another mark, that's fish over here on side scan. That's fish over here on side scan. There's fish below us, below us. Good arch there, arch there. And that's that's a heavy blotch of bait right there. And then here we got, um, so it's not directly up underneath us. Side scan picked it up, but 2D, it didn't go underneath our cone. It's, it's off a little bit to the side. There's a ball of bait. Ball of bait. We'll come up on the brush pile here in a minute we're gonna see if there's any fish on it if there's any fish on it we're gonna give it a go we'll give it a couple of casts and if we don't do any good there we'll throw on some long lines and pull some long lines in here since they're kind of scattered all over and the baits all over because baits all over the place it's there's another ball of bait there's a ball of bait bait showing up right there that's a fish that's how bright that is that's fish all right here we go coming up on it now brush and there's a few fish you can see some bright ones in here there we go so you can see the marks the real brighter marks and that's old wood right there so you can see the wood where there's not a whole lot of fish down in there but then there's brighter marks here where there are so um, and i'll bring it right up here you can see it so uh there's fish right there so we're gonna swing around and i tell you what i think the first thing i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna pull long lines i'm gonna throw long lines out and we're just gonna see what happens here uh just pulling long lines but i'll um yeah let's uh let's go ahead and knock that out do some long lining and i'll get set up here we'll see if we can catch some fish this morning so hang out with me fishing with squirrel early on a sunday morning flip it off right there and um i am running got something new 
on the boat, I, I did buy a 100 amp hour lithium battery. And so I'm not running off my cranking battery, not draining it down. I've got nothing but my boat lights running off of it. So all my grass, my NEMA network, my point one antenna, the geese are having to fit this morning. The point one antenna, um, they're uh, getting interrupted here by wildlife. But anyway, the uh, all my electronics are running off of one 100 amp hour lithium battery. Power Queen, they were, it's actually a used one that um, I got it for a little less than 200 bucks, which lead acid batteries almost cost that now. And that thing is way lighter than a lead acid battery. First lithium I've ever, I've ever owned. So far, I like it, but I'll do an update on that later. Let's get the long line, shall we? Gonna hit it or not? There we go. I saw him dancing around right at the end of the sonar screen. And I'm like, okay, you're sitting there looking at what I got to offer. We're gonna we're gonna make this thing happen or not? Let's see what we got. That's the bass is coming up. It's big. Oh yeah. Big old spot, I'm sure. Oh yeah, rip and drag this morning. And that's what you get with any long lining. A little bit of anything, a little bit of everything. Yeah, big old spot. Throw him in the bucket this morning. Throw him in a live wheel and keep on trucking. Folks, welcome to Lake Kiwi. You like catching bass? Now these things are good to eat. They're white, you know, white, white meat, but man, the Kentucky bass, they uh that's all they do is like these. Okay, there's fish. It's on the screen. There's fish on the screen right here. So let's see, we just got past them. Don't pull any off right here in just a second. There's another cluster of fish. Those big marks, that's not bait. Definitely the whole cluster, the way they're stacked, top to bottom. I'm, I'm sure those are crappy. There, there we go. I'm sitting here talking, and whew, what a tape down! Look at that smash tater. I knew it. I'm all, oh, that's some big old marks over there. We're gonna see if I'm right or if I'm wrong those marks uh, another spot right yeah or no no big old crappy so I thought those are crappy I'm like I'm gonna be get told be wrong if I'm wrong I'm wrong I'll say I'm wrong but those marks I thought for sure we got crappy this morning That's what we got. And guess what? On that pink swimmer. Right there. Alright. I'm gonna roll it down right here get that out.
and there we go hope y'all can see but that's that's the fun in long lining when you can really catch them running in little schools and packs and a lot of times you can catch more than just the uh just the one or two fish it's fun when you have three or four rods go over like at the same time we didn't have that this morning but nonetheless a good quick trip out a big old spot a crappy water temps moving up guys i gotta head out of here sunday morning heading to church y'all have a good one come back and see me hope you enjoyed the video some of the sonar footage that i've got and a couple of fish that we caught this morning but this is fishing this is lake kiwi you're going to get spotted bass and you're going to get some black crappy so uh, thanks again do me a favor hit that like and subscribe if you got any value out of this i appreciate it we'll catch you on the next one